Hi, I'm Sister. Thank you for joining me today. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what Spirit has for you. Spirit, thank you for clear communication, divine protection. Guys, please excuse my nails. It's going to be like this for the next three days. I'm just letting y'all know. That's, <laughs> my appointment is not till three days from now. So, yes. Just, hey, it is what it is. All right. Spirit, thank you for clear communication, divine protection. Divine Feminine, thank you for liking the video. Let's go ahead and type it in. Let's go ahead and tap in. So, I was pulling a few cards and some cards had showed itself to me. So, I told myself that I would take a picture of each card, which I did. And I would go back and pull on the energy and see what needs to be um, heard and channeled concerning the messages on those cards. So, right now, I'm getting ready to act spirit. And we're going to pull information about frenemies. All right, or someone that you feel could be giving you frenemy vibes. They don't actually have to be a friend. They could be an associate, um, someone you work with, all right, someone you have to see in passing, a family member, or an actual friend, you know, just depends on you, you and your situation. But frenemy vibes, let's see what's going on. Spirit, why did frenemy vibes show themselves to me for Divine Feminine? Very low vibrational energy, very toxic. All right. Or someone who just doesn't want to do the work, you know, because not everyone's toxic who doesn't want to do the work. There are some some good hearted people out there who are just lazy, you know, or and not even just that or don't want to accept or face the pain, the heartbreak. Spirit says, tell the truth now. Ace of Swords here, you know, they stay. They hold on to their addiction. They hold they hold on to their obsessions. And ultimately, it's in the, it ends up crippling them in some aspect or another. This person has held onto an addiction that has crippled them. To be in a mindset to have lack or doubt of self and others. And this is what is giving off this frenemy vibes. Because it's like this person energetically loves you, wants to be around you. But for some reason, they're jealous. 222 as I looked up. There could be balance happening. You could be needing to alleviate yourself from this person. Okay? Let's move forward, spirit. What's going on here? Wow. Knights of... It's, oh, man. I'm Spirit giving it to me. You're the empress with a whole bunch of pages and knights. Okay? Wow. I see this. I see what's going on with the frenemies. The frenemies, you have one, you have maybe up to three different people who are frenemies because they're the empress. This is why you are feeling those frenemy vibes. There is someone who's been working hard trying to manifest in the same manner that you do. But see, you have a love and an appreciation for manifesting. This person has a love and appreciation for what they see you with. But they don't know how to close out cycles completely and actually learn what they're enduring and going through. So it's like this person, the moment they don't see the results, they give up. Because the world with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, even though it's young energy, even though it's extremely slow moving, it's normally moving towards progress but that progress has stopped with the world being here could have been a capricorn three of pentacles someone wanted to teamwork with you or someone that you work with that is a capricorn that was jealous maybe you outworked this person damn that's the first in uh individual first scenario then we have a cancer scorpio pisces or an actual cancer here or someone within your social setting whose birthday could be in april okay or, or this could be coming out during cancer season. This is someone you celebrate with, drink with, kick it with. They see that, you know, you are turning down offers to hang out, to go places with them. And see, they are taking that personal. So it, may, it, it could be a water sign because, you know, water signs are sensitive. But that person is taking it personal and they're trying to shade you for it. But it's like, nah, you not being shady. You really got shit to do with the seven of pentacles, the eight of pentacles being here. This is why you're the empress. Because you take care of your responsibilities. You maintain 
the care of your responsibilities. It's not like you do it one time and then you give up. No, you're in it for the long haul, longevity. And then you're mastering. So you're actually completing karmic cycles because you're not giving up. You're not in the energy of defeat. So this person needs to go back and do shadow work. Ooh, did you hear that? Did you hear that heartbeat? Spirit said, hell yeah, they do. For some of you all, there could be someone who you walked away from that you were once a part of um, a romantic connection with that could be doing some type of love spells. Trying to come in and act like they're a friend, but they're really wanting to get close to you so that they can play something in your home or take something of yours. So they can work on that and give it back or replace it back. Like this person has to get close enough to you in order to do some type of binding work. If it's a ex lover. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. 15 of Pentacles breaks down to the six of Pentacles. See, you are the ace and they're the five. They want your attention. They want you to be able to give to them. And it doesn't have to be financially. It could just give your love, give your time, give your energy. And this is someone from the past with that four of cups. And you're doing none of that. Mm. Why else is friending me here for Divine Feminine? Yeah, someone's spying. All right, it could be a, it's a lot of young ass energy here. It's either people who are younger than you that are the frenemy or they're, they're spiritually just, you are in the major league compared to these people. So it's, you're surrounded by energetic vampires. See, she's so full. She's so abundant that she could shed a few pounds of abundance and still be abundant. But these people out here are starving, baby. He, he clothes falling off. Okay, she she in the dark. She don't know which way from left. So it's, it's a lot of people here. Could be up to three to four individuals who are like, yo, you could could consider or could say is a friend of me. Yeah, you gotta defend your bitch. I ain't gotta make nothing up to you. Thank you so much, Spirit. Hallelujah. Seven of Wands with the Five of Wands. These people wanted you to work with them because that brings down to the 12. 12 is the ace in the two. So that is new passionate endeavors and beginnings around plans. Plans to have balance. Plans to have expansion. And these are things that they felt that they can't, could not generate on their own. They had to generate with you. But you started to see... They started to slowly expose themselves. The mask started to fall off and you started to see and you started to defend your ace and your six. Your ace and your six. I feel that there's some type of spiritual download dealing with your third chakra where you're going to be revealed. Specific people. You may even see these people in your dream state. They could be wearing all green, all black. These are envious people here. I know I had a dream a long time ago about my ex and his whole family. And bitch, it scared me so bad because it was like we were all at this function and his whole family were green. Everybody in the goddamn family, baby. Everybody except for him. He was black. He was like he was dressed in all black, but his skin was regular. But his mama, auntie, I mean, everybody else was green from head to toe. The skin color, too. I said, God damn, don't God show me these snakes? I don't know what the significance is with him being black. Maybe he was the black sheep of the family, but he was still there trying to fit in in the dream. So um, just, you know, be mindful to your dreams. You may need to write down your dreams when you have them, especially if they are as vivid as I'm telling you mine was. OK, spirit is telling you that you have all support to defend yourself. The universe like, you don't even got to do much. All you have to do is meditate. And you like, bitch be gone. It's like a bitch be gone button once you meditate. <laughs> so it's like you can you can erase these people mentally because of how powerful you are. And now they're sad because for some of you, you've ended friendships already. They're a Capricorn or a Scorpio Virgo. You went on your way. Okay, these people are sad here. Mm -hmm. For some of you all, somebody could have tried to place something in your cup. That's another uh, side note. Yes, spirit said yes. Remember, I told you about those love spells. Be very, very careful. If an ex comes back and you've been shooing this ex away, but you finally give in, because ten plus five is what fifteen. 
that breaks down to six. This person would do anything necessary to get this ten of cups back. They like, God damn it, if she gonna come on free will, cool. But if she ain't, I got a little juju ja ja. They may hit her ass and make her do a three sixty. Okay, so I don't know why I said it like that. I feel like maybe this masculine, if it's an ex lover, he's talking to a homeboy who's into shit like that, and they thinking they getting the job done, and they ain't doing nothing but creating bigger holes for themselves. This is the reading. All is well, loving like Ashe.